Hi, my name is Josephine. I am the director of the Prison Yoga Project here in Europe. And I'm also the developer of trauma-informed yoga and movement in Sweden. I'm very happy and grateful for the opportunity to share some of our practices here with you on the Trauma Research Foundation website. The program is a combination of uh, dance and movement therapy, yoga, but also mindfulness-based relaxations and also some breathing practices that might be beneficial right now. It's aimed to provide an opportunity to release build up stress, both in your body my, via the muscle tension you might have experienced, but also in the nervous system. Each week we will have a different theme that we will explore and hopefully there will be a few uh, useful tips for you and short practices that you can use and maybe experiment with in your everyday life to see if that can be of any support during this uh, situation we are in. I've been specializing in working with traumatic stress in confined environments such as prisons, isolation units and forensic psychiatry and more uh, confined environments similarly. And I also work on the other side with uh, the survivors of violent crimes. I work with both uh, interests. Uh, what I've been seeing and what I've been noticing is that mindfulness-based body um, movement-based interventions needs to be a recognized therapeutic program inside these environments because the effects from traumatic stress inside a confined environment amplifies. There is a lack of movement, a lack of control and a lack of safety and predictability and also a worry about the future and of course shame for the past what you've done. So that is amplifying the negative effects from trauma inside these environments. But what is really encouraging, what I find, is that the practices that we bring inside the prisons really show every week we experiment, experience the, the positive sides. So we do see personal transformation in front of our eyes. We do see people who regain agency and control over their reactions, becoming more inspired, feeling a higher sense of belonging and a purpose in life. And this is what we want. We want empowered people to re-enter the society. And it's also impacting the impulse control, which is a massive issue when you're re-entering again. Uh, for the safety of yourself and the society. So what we will share here is a few of uh, the favorite practices from the women's prisons where I normally teach weekly when there is not a pandemic going on. And we've been working with just like the natural uh, ways of releasing stress. And we do say this to each other. We do say shake things off. We do say, oh, take a deep breath, uh, find both feet firmly on the ground and our natural instincts of moving to, to soothe ourselves. Because basically what we are in in this pandemic is a very similar situation to what we encounter inside the prisons. Um, we are confined, many of us are in a forced lockdown for the moment which is basically a forced freeze response with a fight flight reaction going on. So moving is crucial and breathing is crucial through all of this and we can do it together. And from what I've been observing and experiencing all over these years, I've been working with this, I feel very hopeful that we will go through this pandemic together and we will decrease the stress levels and hopefully we can have some fun together while doing this as well. During these weeks, we will also explore some Bollywood style dancing, uh, explore how we can strengthen the resilience in the nervous system by moving slower and more energizing and see if we can create a balance and a broader what we call window of tolerance where we can 
kind of feel relaxed and more social without going into too much anxiety and too much depression. So we kind of try to modulate um, with these different practices. Please invite your children, you can have the whole family joining, or if you're like me, alone in this uh, isolation, I hope I can provide some support for you. You will definitely so provide a lot of support for me during this process. So thank you, and uh, if you're interested more into the therapeutic potential and more the neurobiology and the thoughts about how to regulate the brain from these practices, we will hopefully create a more in-depth uh, workshop during the autumn on the Trauma Research Foundation website. So I'm looking forward to really deep dive into these subjects. Uh, but for now, for these eight weeks, there would be a good opportunity just to explore and to feel these practices without me talking for too much, uh, just for us to connect through the movement and through these practices. So I'm welcoming you to these uh, weeks of exploration and I invite you to join uh, on the Trauma Research Foundation website. Thank you so much.